Jobs, Jobs, Jobs in our country. Welcome to this edition of the Free Talk in proud partnership with the Frederick Newman Foundation. This week we are in Mondoro where we are talking to trailblazing Terry Maposa, uh, known on social media as the Prince Machiavelli. Now Terry is a young Zimbabwean farmer who has taken social media and Zimbabwe by storm. Terry has romanticized the rural Zimbabwe, the place where everybody did not want to go. A young graduate from the University of Zimbabwe who has not sought the job in, a, in those high sought after blue chip companies, but he has created his own paradise here in Village 6, Mondoro. He is turning chicken, rearing and breeding into gold. He's making a difference in his community. He's touching lives by affecting or impacting the very community that grew him. We are going to be following his story from here on the Free Talk to hear what has motivated him, what has made him become the person he is, and why chickens. Why chickens? So join me on this amazing journey with Terry Maposa, the Prince Machiavelli in Village 6, Mondoro. On this, the Free Talk, with me, your host, Dara Blessed Dimtlanga, in proud partnership with the Frederick Newman Foundation. Thanks, uh, Terry, for, joining, for allowing us to join you um, at at your place in village six, the passionate village six. Now tell you, just, just by brief background, can you tell us uh, who is Terry uh, and so that people can just have a, uh, appreciation of who you are? Uh, Terry Maposa is just an ordinary villager in village six. I was born and bred in village six. Um, I grew up in village six. I learned in this community. So this is where everything started and everything is going to be finished here. So um, I took the decision to come back to the rural areas to go into full-time farming. But this time, doing it myself, compared to the period where you'll be doing it under the instruction of your mother or the uncles or the siblings and all. But now it's now me on the driving seat. So I'm a farm, but I'm known for breeding rodent. But yes, that's where it started. But now it's it has expanded. 
when I started, I wasn't into crop farming, but now I'm into crop farming. I'm also into horticulture. So recently, I've started goats. So um, the roadrunners is where everything started, and now the expansion is rooted from the roadrunners. So village six is the hub. That's where I started everything, and that's where I'm mainly mm. Now, now you 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 said you decided to come back. Uh, to village six, where had your journey taken you to? Um, the childhood dream was to to become a lawyer. So yeah, but you know, I didn't meet the required points, so I had to take the political science route uh, at the university. Well. So you know, when you grow up in the village, the dream would be to have this good life in town. So just like in other villages, I also wanted that life. To work in the cities, a proper formal paying white collar job. But um, things didn't go as planned. I couldn't find employment. I was employed, yes, but I wasn't satisfied. So that dissatisfaction forced me to take this route. And uh, Fortunately, it paid off. The dis so, dissatisfaction was in terms of remuneration, in terms of the job, what was it about? It was remuneration. Mm -hmm. um, what happens when, when you leave college, what you quickly do is you accept that you are going to be employed even at a job that you didn't train for. So it might be the job that you didn't train for, but yet paying. But my dissatisfaction was on the remuneration side. If I was earning much, probably I wouldn't be here doing farming. Probably I would be chasing bigger dreams in town. But it was remuneration. Mm -hmm. So um, it was the job that I didn't train for and the remuneration as well. Mm -hmm. It was not coming on time as well. So it forced me to um, take this route. It was hard because it's coming back to the life that you were living before. And now you're going back to re-strategize and try to make it look uh, sexy, if I can say. Like people should admire the life that you're living. And it's not easy to try to convince people. Because people will be saying, okay, we need SRD. It's like a strong rural background. Mm -hmm. So it's associated with backwardness. Mm -hmm. So you're now trying to turn that backwardness to look it more appealing to the people. Which is what I, I tried and which is what I'm trying to do. Mm -hmm. Do you... You, 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 you obviously are a holder of a degree from the University of Zimbabwe. Totally nothing to do with farming. Do you think those were wasted years in university? No. We, we go to the universities to attain degrees so that we... Okay, the mentality with... That's what I believe. The mentality with our parents probably to change from our generation going forward. We were forced to go to school to learn so that you work. That's what we were told. We were not told, or our parents didn't look and say, okay, what is Terry passionate about? And let's try to nurture his career in that line. So when you are going to school, it's not all about attaining the degree and work. But for me, it worked because now I have a thousands of connections from that university. So if someone says, do you regret wasting four years at the University of Zimbabwe? I'll say no. That was fruitful. Because now the connections are plenty. I'm, I'm trying to imagine myself if I had not gone to university and I'm not stuck in the rural areas. Probably I wouldn't have known how to use social media. Mm. There are people thriving in the rural areas and they are struggling to get market. They don't know how to use the social media. So I'm trying to imagine myself if I was in that state. Now it's easy because I know of people, I was friends with people who were doing medicine, they are doctors. It's easy to connect with them because they know me, I know them as friends. Even if that person becomes a minister or what, it's too easy for me to talk to him because we were friends from the roots. So going to college doesn't necessarily mean that you have to work. You can open up your mind to think um, better and open up or, or do your own startup. But because your mind now 
is a little bit illuminated because you've been going through higher teacher education. You can now think in a positive way and start your own thing. But does university education prepare you for this sort of kind, this sort of thing that you are doing? Does it model you to become a worker or an entrepreneur, in your view? Yes, no. Mm -hmm. It depends, I think, with a lot of things. There are people who are doing well as entrepreneurs, yet they didn't pass through university. And there are people who are now doing well after going through university. So I think it, it, it all depends with how you were natured. Or how you natured, your associations, or your thinking. Yes, a university holds an advantage, exposure. But it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to go through university for you to be an entrepreneur. It's 50-50. The young people who have gone through university to hold degrees and they have not got any employment, what would you say to them who, like you said, went to school and thought they're going to get a degree and get a job? Um, everyone in life reaches an acceptance stage, if I can say. It's just like... Um, just like supporting soccer. <laughs> There's a point where you need to say, okay, this is the reality. As you know, right now, I have a plan for 2022. Mm. So I'm seeing the plan. I see myself at this beautiful building, and all that. I might not arrive in 2022. Don't want so, after college, you know when I'm in college, you lose in this identity. So, after attachment, you can do more of attachment. So, after college, I think at 25, I will be driving this GD6. So, can you remove that fantasy land? You will be more like in a denial stage. You need to accept that there's a reality on the ground. So, I need to do this. As long as you still don't deny or period, you can find out the panel Marie Pachas on Kumu Kamak Seni report, or you're going to meet and be guy and spoil you with a hundred k. It doesn't work like that. So one needs to wake up quickly. If I had known, the student would play the college, the student would up a college, the student would hang out, or maybe that was this is my last semester, to try straight to to hang out to go to Ngeza, to hang out to Kumu Chaga to Mal, to hang out. Probably I would be close to Ivans by now, to be honest. The tanga to the chance to media, the tanga to push into market. Probably right now Terry will be international, will be a recognized international brand. But because the country is a school, the tanga to chago mabasa just like anybody. The tanga to chaga. I worked in Gweru, I worked in Kwekwe, I worked in Harare, I worked in Jinoi. I was just moving around. You forgot to to zoom the farm. If I had known, could I know this is taking me nowhere? I'm earning 300 bucks in Harare, and probably I'm paying 50 bucks rent or 30. I need money combi, I need money food kumbani basa kumbushan. I still, I have my tail. My tail is disabled. But see, I'm not fake right now, it's 250 years old. That's true, 250. She needs to eat. I need to expand, I need to build. To go save those who are, and I've thrown it back. So that's a point where you need to say, okay, so where am I going? If I'm going to suffer for the next five years creating a quartier brand, probably in the next 10 years, people will be saying, okay, that GD6 in that year, you work for it. But um, you know, when I end up with university, now I'm going to go mine. So the other one, but then my mate comes. I don't know what happened. The guy from the Tunzi, Murupa list, John, but then I was in Mwaru, no two, three, 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 three. Then the following day, the guy from the Tashi, the guy from the Panem, my name is Anesha Gaiti. The other two, I think we were four. They discovered we were A level. So they didn't want him, man, A level. The other two, so 
So you have vision, and I apply to use it. But I was telling the same week, but not to go to the college. My guy was employed. I got my guy. No guy in the college. But I think the only difference that is going to differentiate me and you, Panjadzo, okay, is you know, going to go in this hour. That will be the only difference. And when I came back, that was the difference. He was not married, and I wasn't. But we were more or less at the same level. So you need to do a self introspection and say, right now, Ruku, just like Munan Nyepa, I'm not Nyepa Nyepa Nyepa. I'm not Pezau Nyepa. I'm not Pezau Nyepa. I'm not Pezau Nyepa. You need to sit yourself again. Okay, I'm not Pezau Nyepa. But this is not my reality. Back home, I have siblings who are tested by Terry, a degree Terry. He is supposed to feed the family. This is not the problem. This is right now. Tagara Panaba. Phone not to be that we. What is your matter? No, 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 no. Bija. Ape ono sana ndo. So if you know what you are shouldering, uh, my expectations, a family yako, and you all could have to try to please a few people in your circle. We call them associates, not friends. Because the, the more you take a different route, they will leave you and rambo one kwa. So the more the moment you try to please associates, wo vwara ma the dream of associates. You wake up the next day, associate wa kwa shamba ne BMW. You chuk to kumbira uti. Dipo kani bo drive ani bolona. So that's the bracket that I tried to move out of, and say, okay, it's fine. I can utilize this. I can suffer. Yes, I'm in the process of building a brand. I can suffer for ten years, but it's better. Let's meet after ten years. Probably I'll be somewhere big. Mm-hmm. So, an unemployed graduate needs to think. We can't all be farmers, but we can all be entrepreneurs. That's for effect. You can find something. You can do a joint business, whether it's farming or what. You can try that route. We can't all be farmers. We can't all be miners. We can't all be constructors. But we can all make money in our different ways. You're a journalist. I'm a farmer. We are all making money. So, an unemployed graduate just needs to accept and think of other things. Do you think it's easy being a Zimbabwean young person in in the in this era of our country, economically, socially? What do you do if you're put in a plastic bag and you're suffocating? What you do when you are dumb? You do not So what do we do, my brother? And I, if you are having a problem, do you sit down and cry, or you try to look for solutions? That's simple. Yes, it's not easy. So what do we do? Should we sit and cry? It's not easy being a youth because. There is no employment. But what do we do? There are people with lands, just like me. Even last year, I didn't have to go to the house. I didn't have to the house. I didn't have to go to the We saw the picture of you. There is someone who can do the same. That person can do the same. That person can do the exact same thing that I'm doing. Poetry business is not all. I sat at a corner, she told them my players and that were pretty serious. Still, from Bana, Canada, what we shift to Momo to Buzi. For now, we need more players in the business. Why can't you do the same? In, I never thought that I would be a farm, a full time farm. Because nothing that was to do was, but as a child, I told you, I don't know. I don't know if you are But here I am. I'm now a full time farmer, a proud full time farmer. It's not easy being a youth. But what do we do? We look for solutions to survive. There are youths who are doing well. Why can't we do the same? So instead of running away from our kind, we can find solutions to make it happen in our own country. It's not easy because we are not employed. But what do we do? In my employed people, I have five people who are twenty percent alive. We are more boys than we to come up with. Do to make a short while to pay Kakana, can I get anything extra? Vantu, um, two hundred new cards. I make sure to put Pompo Maricana and Pompo 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 Pomp
We can try to look from avenues. If you can't do it alone, you can partner with someone. That's mm -hmm. what I think. It's not always about being employed. Yes, we want employment. We go to school to be employed. But we can't always be employed. Let's try to create employment ourselves. We have a problem. Okay, I'm speaking as Terry, not as a group. I think we have a problem of... Um, believing that one has to go alone. That's number one. Yes, in I'm doing alone. But there are times we don't know what I think they end up only in partnership with someone. Probably dream young eat and it at this point. So my, my efforts are we need for managing to incubate maybe a thousand chicks every three days, probably with a partner who could be incubating five thousand. That's number one. You have an idea. I can sell it to you. You own my resources. There are people out there with resources but with no ideas. And especially on us now marine this with my ideas. You come with your idea, you just find someone to fine tune your idea, you sell it to someone. You partner with that person. It's also on us now marine this with no one. You find someone with the resources. Partner with that person. We move. But like I said, we were taught to be employees, not to employ. Mentality, my brother, you can see your child actually 10 years old. But why can't you create a workshop? I don't know what's called. And in the next 10 15 years, I'm going to big. And then there's your son, Tira, brother, I'm not a regarding. Nature is. Um, um, potential is career. So it's not always about getting employed. This is what I think. Mm. Let's try to employ. And the issue is that you know, I, I met this guy who is well established in Danimari. He told me that in fact, when you plan now, you know, plan a man's man. I know you know to plan for. Maybe the uh, quarterly. So you will never arrive. Imagine you uh, plan to go a maybe a house. You the first quarter in Bangkok. You appear. Or you plan to go a restaurant. He told me that until you reach a point of planning for the next five years, you need to start My brother, five years at this chin. So you know what to plan now? But okay, I see this investment and look at us. It will start paying in the next three years or in the next two years. When I started my poultry project, I reached a number of 2.5 beds. This is market. I was going to go This is a This is a 2.5. 50 to the other side of market look very well. I didn't know how to market. They don't go for me, market just ring a egg to the other side of the channel. But it didn't work like that. I spent one and a half years, this is not gonna one cent in the world. In the pantry, the gas which after one and a half patch, quack good to which I'm my phone to think that calf was good to hand down both than us, but it wasn't paying. Mm. So, so imagine if so I, what kept you going i had no option i had started i had already started and i was in it and remember when you start something there are people who say you know now i'm proud of being called mama mahuku <laughs> right now mahuku i love that pandaka tanga tanga wasn't proud of being called mahuku so when i did yo mahuku nasinga yanzo spaku so Imagine those people would ah, so now you will be working very hard to try to prove a point to those people. That's the other thing that was that kept me going. Which okay, these people they know Terry is about to fail, so I need to push. So your haters gave you strength. Partly, mm -hmm. they gave me strength because even up to now there are people who are wishing to okay, this is Angofa. 
So partly you are doing it for your passion and for good auto there is someone at very big from the poultry business. But there are people every day and you are now working towards proving them wrong. It's for effect. There are people who are doing a tweet and don't post a negative. So that person I I need to keep on posting so that person I just change your mind, I go to the place out of order. Because you are making strides on a daily basis, you need to prove those people that, okay, I can do it. And I feel like this year, but next year, 2022, I'll come, I'll come back strong. So, I had no option. This was my business, this was my investment. I started with 400 bucks. So, for me, 400 bucks was too much. It wasn't the Anaish Andra for four months. Mm. So, now that was my investment. Some people invest 100,000 US dollars. I invested 400 bucks. And now, how much is your investment if you are looking at it? Right now, if someone is to buy my project, only ten out a project, I go here say, pan up a flex six. My brother, I have that power, and it can house about four thousand. This one already is five hundred. That one is about fifty. That one can house seven hundred beds. That one is new. Do you understand? Coming project, Nema Brilliant. I'm about to lock it. Nema Nema Road Runners in Yama, like coming to 2022. So if you add 4,000 plus 700, that's 4.7. These ones, these are breeders. They are only for the purpose of breeding. So if I'm to sell a project that can house 4,700 beds at once, and uh, the name, the name Kwateri or the Prince Magavel, whichever name that person chooses, and these. Breeders. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the work that I've put, mm-hmm. my brother, I have never tried to hide anything from social media with regards to my poetry project. Mm-hmm. There are people who started following me from 2017. They know how they started posting the first post. They make a post Map chickens, and my chickens, and chickens, and and I and I started posting it. Kudara, the people who, who started, I have the tweet, never know that I could read that first tweet. Those people they know, okay, this for us, aqua, kaka, half one. Then the Kabandaka with Zera, Kakane Uswa, I posted a picture, I think, two weeks back, Judge Uswa. This first compartment, mm-hmm. I moved in the end up and kind up, the go up and go up, the guy know. Now, now, the people were following every step. We go to Munagawaka, Teroga, Teroga, who was going on, Matagata, I know. We have been following this journey for four years. We know how this person started, how this person came to do the bow, how this person got the land, how the, they've. Even when I was in Ziva, I was like, 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 So the amount of work that I've put to be where I am today, okay, I'm not successful, but to be where I am today, the amount of work that I've put, I don't know if I charge a mad because I had to sweat to be where I am. I don't know if I charge a mad loss, and I'm accepting those losses because I still want to create, make sure that the brand still floats really clean. Do you accept a loss in Asia's dream? Let this happen. Because you don't try to protect the brand. There's some people who think that getting into business is about having resources, it's about getting a loan or someone who's financially up there so that you can run business. Is, is that the truth? Who gives a loan? Who gives you a loan when you're not his or a relative? Banks don't give loans to startups. That's not true. I was with Dr. Lance yesterday, he reiterated that point. Banks need security. I can't just walk in bank ABC and do a broker loan of 10,000 years ago. Don't bother me. What's the collateral? No bother me. You don't necessarily need a loan. Okay, the only person who can give you a loan. I, I think I'm sure you've listened to Donald Trump uh, the time I, my father gave me one million years ago. That's his father. Giving his son a, a, a one million US dollars to start up something. Another million. You can't get a loan when you're starting up. It's next to impossible. 
Unless you do that, you can buy But usually, you will fail. Imagine if I had taken a loan in 2017. One and a half years, this is not one. Chabuda. Apa natural loan, I can't so much. I can't The next thing, you know, you can't do it. It's not a loan. Then you are back to square zero. So I believe, Guti, if you trust the process, enjoy the growth slowly. But obviously, we will reach a point, personally, I will reach a point where I will say, okay, now I think I need a loan. Now, if I want a loan, I can get it. Boys, I have things, I have properties to show, to say, okay, and don't want to buy this. It's a value, value why me. Then let's, let's get the loan. But still, up to now, I'm afraid of taking loans. I've enjoyed my growth. It is slow, yo, yo. and I can reach where I want to be with this growth and the without getting a loan. Daga, it's a four months. It's not one salary before I started my work. Then do pay we are one. We actually four months. It was hundred bucks per month. Um, the person I got, you know, my jungle Malay has a white eye, so I wanted that bedroom when the lights are sexy or new white. So, don't lie down, no bandy pies or those guns in your lights are sexy. I didn't know, could he they all chicken lights are here to see who the guy down but not go down on Facebook. So, no, so I got bandy. At your sangani pa church office. It was a Saturday. Then we church. No, no, my church office. No, no, no. We book sangani chi. And my chicks. Alleged white Sussex. Alleged Sussex. No, no. So I was showing my mom the picture. Uh -huh. Okay. This my chicks are actually sitting on the chi. This one. Ghana Akura. By my dad. So I was showing my mom the This is how we change. As you know, the words in the room are so good. And they were four hundred. So. Papa <laughs> No bandas start to restart again. So imagine going six months. Oh, what are alone? One six months. Who forgot now the offer not another country? Was not a wrong product. So now you have to wait for another six months. That what over one year two. My menu one go 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 good. I've only quit. So it's something that people to know expect a quick return. Na investor has hundred dollars. Man, one get to get two hundred. It doesn't make like that. I'm sure even the rich people have an angle muka, waka, tongoti, vane mahe. Problem is, when you take on a bing, as a little bing, as a little bing, as a little bing, you woke up with a million bucks. And to know from what Munaganditi, this investment will start paying after five years. We talk of what five years is too much. Taka would tell you my lessons 2018, Chavosu, come in, ma'am. 2018, Dantoni, now in Shinaz. There's someone Pandaka Tanga, Rachel Tanga project. Ashi Tai Badar. Now we need to go out to expand and negotiate. The same project in Dakatanga Yashikota. So when planning, I think we also need to look at period. When planning, let's plan my long-term plans. They also pay. My quick returns. Ah, shanda, ando shanda, which kurukosa kana kumi kana uting sama dumas. We've seen a lot of brands trying coming in to identify with you, to back you, and support you. Can you tell us about that? Um. So what happens is um, social media is like that. In fact, everything is like that. I pull you, you pull me. That's what happens. The brands that come purely to help, the brands that come for you to market for them, then they pay you. Then there are brands who try to ride on wealth. To say Terry is like this, so let's just try to, to set one more traction. 
but um, it doesn't work like that. Inina angwa na uzo yenye ku kuzo dar dar. Yeah, when you come up with your inini initially big brands, let's talk money. But you, you think it's a madora? Let's do this. The push rochi. I don't need you to pay. There are people who can go retweet her. I never paid anyone to retweet Suzanne. Zakan go ita over and I should go over and I should go retweet her and remove. Saka, you you are setting up just like Terry. I and you do bad. Why do I need to do bad? Yet we are all setting up. We are all trying. You are trying to make the few ends meet. Then do banda go to read a paper for today. Yet we can only help each other. So there are brands that come and try to associate, which is not bad. Uh, any money out of that, it's not bad. If a brand comes and say, advertise for us, we pay you this. And if you agree, can I be comfortable? You are comfortable. Let's work on it. This wave will all die. Okay, it, it, it cannot die. I believe it won't die. But the volume is not And I would love to say, okay, this is what I can show. This is what I got. I will reach a point where I will be having a family. If I'm going to be demanded to pay social media, then I will go to manage my social media accounts. At that point, then I would have to okay my kids. This is what we got when this was happening. This is what we got. my brands. This brand you associated with this brand and this and this and this. And out of that, this is what we got. There are connections that we do with other brands that won't bring money. But that connection, it's not always about money. In any, now I know that there is blessed. So if I want something and I change media or what, I can just give you a call. But there's no money to mm-hmm. We need that friendship, we need that connection between me and this big brand. Without money being involved, why not go there and present, sell myself to the people? You never know the next morning someone might call you, I don't know we tell to better workshop with this angel. It has come out of that connection. Risna Maria Shanda. So the connections can either bring money or the friendship and connections that we need for this business. Um, before I take you to your um, corporate social responsibility, um, saying that we can make you a corporate at the moment, but do you? Do you have any political views as as Terry Mapos? Um, I'm a student of politics, for effect. I think it's 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 out there. Um, it's what I went to school for. I know politics. I'm not a politician. I'm not into activism. What? I'm a farmer. Whether I like it or not. Um, let's say um, I don't understand journalism, but I I, I believe kuni we ma kami ya kuni we ma fo. I mean, but it is photojournalism. What those people can be addicted to taking pictures, just like me. I'm addicted to taking pictures. My guys know that when I talk about that, I can attain. When I talk about something fun, be rest assured to jump on my team. So you might be a photojournalist and when I to from road, you might be addicted to just take a photo for no reason i'm a student of politics this is what is happening in our country yes i have my views but i have decided to take a path in my life of keeping the views to myself yes <laughs> you have what you think you ate out of the social media or whatever is you. I have my own. Uh, I just decided to take farming and enjoy farming and the connections that come with it. And vibe and connect and um, what can I say? Be in agreement or whether collaboration with anyone with progressive thoughts. Whether you are from this political part or this. As long as you bring positive vibe to my platforms. We are cool. I want everybody who, who wants to move. I'm a farmer, I'm a full time farmer. My degree is in the chauffeur. It's just a paper now. It's, uh, yeah, it's just a paper that I'll show to my kids. 
the, I, I went through college. I think next year, Andrew, I, I'm thinking of starting something, a program in farming. I think I have to, mm -hmm. just to enrich my knowledge. Because you never know, up to 78, and if you knowledge, or just a certificate or a diploma in farming, I don't know how it's done, but just in a, to broaden my knowledge. Because now, but I also need to enrich the knowledge of Kwacho Kumbuzi, Kumombe, Kuimbra, Kumakwai, Kuove, and everything. So that's my field now. Yes, I'm a student of politics. You can't run away. In fact, everyone in the world cannot run away from politics. It's politics that determines who gets what, when, and how. It's the famous statement. It's politics not the man of just wondering how, say, when. It's politics. You can't run away from it. Even in church, you politics. We have seen it. Even in a family, there's politics. It now depends with how you define it. In any way, I'm now defining my politics is moving with family. Collaborate with anyone who is coming with an idea. I can't put my views. I don't want to say my coming from family. Whether you are from a political party called Terry or what. Let's move. As for the political views, if I have something that I'm thinking in my mind, I've decided to keep it, uh, I don't know, inside my, my mind or what, but I don't keep my political views. If I have my own view, both are the politics, it's inevitable, but right now it doesn't even cross my mind. All I'm thinking of, the United States, okay, so we are approaching end of year. What am I going to do? I'm now having a business mind more Zagato Sian the political threat. Pandaka Bok College in Dalan Dugne Pray. Naito the politics. Zias Gruti, the Dagatuanam, I told the Amsterdam to him for Hungary. I could not say Naito it. But it served me, but I think I stayed out of a rare Pandaka Bok College. Maybe if I was in a random or twenty Tiran to the Mugari to Tahun Panon's tenders politics. But I decided to take the farming route. And it requires me to be in connection with everybody. So I'm here and I love farming. Politics is for other people. We, I can't do everything. There are people who are doing politics and I do farming. Mm. Work with me, Teddy, as we talk. So this is like a four, four room, three room house. Uh, I think by the end of the next two weeks, we'll be done. What will be happening here? Tell us. Uh, that's a bedroom, but that room. Um, Don't tell me you want to put an incubator. No. Um, an incubator, I'm going to design a separate room for it. But this one, I want to put um, my fridge. Okay. Because uh, I'm now moving into. You need to slaughter with some fridge. Then anyone who, who wants a dressed and who's going to ready, are could um, the pain. Because there are people, and you see, I have a black as well. Mm -hmm. There are people who don't want to be associated with anything black. Okay. So that person, uh, anger today, yakawa wakuta. The dressed. Yeah, because the compounds are going to be more <laughs> so that's what I'll, I'll be trying to to correct in Ebuka and that's not a gun. But I see a slaughtered bed. Just recently we saw I, I saw you in a movement where you're trying to um, improve the quality of life for young children in the rural areas. Can you talk to me about that? Um, I didn't start it now, mm -hmm. but I started posting it now. Now, uh, if you ask my mom or the, anyone in the field, okay, in fact, I always try to keep it private. If I'm dealing with five families, let it stay in the five families. So, um, like I said, I grew up in this village. I grew up with the people, I grew up with the problems. 
So the person who's supposed to solve problems is not someone who doesn't understand problems. It's me. Okay. I chose to take a stand to try to solve the problem. But there are people who also can solve. But um, I've been helping. I've been trying. You know, 20, 2020, I was giving people free chicks around the country. But I decided to say, okay, instead of taking it far, let me try to bring it home. And started giving. Even if you ask my neighbors, all of them have given them uh, chicks to start uh, their own uh, projects. So instead of giving people chicks, you can't give vulnerable families chicks because they also need to look for the fees for the chicks. Mm -hmm. So I decided to say, instead of paying for a few kids their fees, I can now look at using my platforms to source out funds for them. Uh, I could have created a trust to say, okay, people can put their money in this uh, for security reasons, for transparency and all. But I said, okay, it might take time. Let me just get my, the account numbers for the schools so that it becomes transparent. Mm -hmm. There's no one who is depositing mm. their money to my account. And, and you save yourself the two percent tax by exactly <laughs> so if you want to donate clothes and books and what i'll come and collect, collect. Mm -hmm. if it's fees i'll give you the account numbers straight into the school I, i'm sure if you had me making a phone call to the head mm -hmm. so i'll just go there get the bank statements confirm with the proof of payments that i'll be having then get the, the kids go to school so i started moving around i know the kids i know the families by head okay there's this family mm -hmm. they have nine kids they're not going to school there's this go go who's staying with nine orphans there's this family yes it's a family but they are not doing anything they fail to take their kids to school yes you might call them lazy but the reality is kids are not going to school so you can't go to a family and say guys you need to work to send your kids to school if they don't want they don't want there are families who are not willing to take kids to school so there are kids now staying at home, they are now eight, they are now nine years old. Who is going to do that? You are you are giving them hope by through this initiative too. They know that I'm trying to okay, I've I might be better than them financially. Not far much better, but I might be a little bit better than them. So they can give an example of someone who is at least showing some signs of being successful. So I can't come to you and say, oh, support your forge, I need to put. It doesn't make sense to them. So if I say, guys, education is important. I did this and this and this and this. This is what I'm doing, this is what I'm doing. That person can now say, okay, this person is trying to give me this direction. So if I pursue this direction, I might be successful. So I decided to um expand I, I i call it expansion i was working with a few but now i'm i've taken on board a lot of kids specifically in this village village six. yes you might be thankful to terry staying in murewa mm -hmm. but next door there's a kid suffering and you've seen the distance they are walking around seven kilometers to school mm -hmm. and now that road that main road poses danger because they there are big trucks that fed uh, chrome from, from gas mine to, to Kwekwe. Imagine a four-year-old kid walking seven kilometers to school. And some of them, they're not going to school because they don't have fees. So, and now with the problem of the mine, the kids coming from well-up families. And they, there is you. In the same school. In the same school. Now it's, you can even see the gap. If you just arrive at the school, you can see the gap. Okay, these are the haves and these are the have nots. And it kills a kid's confidence by just not having proper uniform of school shoes. It kills your confidence to stand. Did, did you, growing up, have these privileges of good shoes, um, good food at your break time? To be honest with you, before God, I started wearing shoes when I was in Form 4. I was given by my brother. He was in S he was in SA at that time. Not a school shoe. I don't my take, I take my take that I That was my first shoe. 
Nikatozo isia ya dambu ya nikatama ni manya tila chukuru. My mom can testify. From grade 1 to grade 7, I was working in a toka. Toka barefoot. You understand a problem when someone says it. Kano waka mbui experience. It's easy for you to understand that problem. So when someone says it, I'm not what you quickly do is rewind your mind and see yourself in that state which is wet in the womb. So, I never experienced any privilege whatsoever. Worse when I was in high school, that was bad. And being the only person that would see these are realities. You can interview the teachers that told me. They are teachers who paid for my registration fee. So when I see someone not being able to pay, I lose nothing, remember, by using my platform to look for fees for the kids. I lose nothing, I gain nothing. It's just me taking a stand and say, okay, these people, I see them every day, I see their problems. So what am I doing? You have a chance and a platform to use to help them. So why not use it? Whether they're going to say thank you to me or not. Something but out of 35 kids or 20 kids, if two are successful, yes, they will pass it on to other people. Let's do that. I'm a product of charity. I can give it to other people as well. I've been helped by people, by strangers. Some of them I don't even know. I've never met them. So what about a person that I see on a daily basis? A grandmother who doesn't have shoes, who doesn't have a juice, why don't know that? Why not look for donations? But going to school without shoes, that experience that you had, did it motivate you? Did it demoralize you? What did it do to you? Um, to be honest with you, uh, in I'm just grateful to God. Because, you know, in high school, let's be honest, uh, no, in primary, you can have you can never have a mature mind to say, let me fight for this. It's not possible. Mm-hmm. It's not. Primary, you are just using your mind. You know, you use your mind. You start, you start understanding what you put in the amount work secondary. But on this side, mm, I think now there's a gap. We want to go to the world of Scan, and now we want to go to the world of Nana Boots. So that's the time I thought, okay, so I need to correct these wrongs by doing this, by fighting for this. Just like A level, that was what it was. A level was highest. A level was highest. Because we need to try to prove that we have a wrong, we have a wrong. You'll be trying to prove to them, okay, you have this, you have fees, but I can use my mind to outsmart you. So, in high school, yes, it was a great motivation. But in primary, I'm grateful to God. Because I just moved, like, just moving, not knowing what I was doing. Because when I was going to move to my what does a lawyer do? What does a doctor do you which path am i going to take mm. you are just being pushed but you're understanding this can you just um for our viewers benefit share with them what it is like to be a young zimbabwean boy in the rural areas of zimbabwe um to be honest there is a gap, like the one that I'm trying to bridge for the kids in this village. Panika Kutungwara, this kid is from town, this is from the rural area. Because the lives that we lead, they are completely different. The lives that we live, you might ask a kid in, in, in rural areas, do you know a laptop? I don't know how a laptop. Yes, I don't know how to use it. I don't know how to use it, but I don't know how but they don't know how to use it. But there's a kid in town, out of the ocean, laptop, and four years. There is a gap between a rural boy and an urban boy. Whether an urban boy is living a good life or not, but there's this 
mind ya katutu muke igdalika ya mwana alikuro ya for effect because exposure yake ya kanyanya udalika ya euro boy so when it comes to um, education you find kuti euro boy ano kuna nga kato isa 100% effort to attain an A and an A ben gaya kato isa kato 50% so there is this extra push that you need to give yourself when you're in the raw areas. This is black and white. You need to push extra hard for you to reach that level with the guys. Mm. And with the effort that you're putting to these young children, young kids in village six, what what are you what are your feelings towards that in terms of that effort that you missed when you were a young guy and that you're trying to put now? Um, I can only pray that these guys uh, can become successful and that maybe I'll keep on getting the resources to keep them going. I managed to pay them fees here this term, near next term, like starting the first term 2022. It's now all set. But you never know. You are helping the kids. But I'm not the one to push them. Their parents need to give that push. I can only pray with you if they become successful. I don't need their thank you. But just seeing, just like a teacher, one of my to pass. Another one of teacher. Let's give an example. The president. That guy was my student. You are just sitting and you are proud. Sure. So, okay. The ganja are hungry, pano, but I've put a hand on these guys to be where they are today. I can just pray Guti, they become successful. I always tell them, no guys, I don't want anything from you. Just go do your thing. In any can go on out of the fees and all, to some account numbers, you get your fees. You do the rest. Your parents will be get you learn, period. I, I, I'm not asking for a dollar from them. I, I didn't find anyone who gave me that dollar who, that time. But that doesn't make me an enemy of the society. Mm -hmm. It's just like saying you have my kids. Because you, you grow up suffering, then you say, okay, let them suffer because they never suffer. Because you suffer, yeah. It doesn't go that way. You, you, you keep talking about, about your dream, Terry. What, 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 what really is your dream? Um, like I said, we have this tendency of selling raw materials. Why can't we put, va put value addition on our products? I don't need to sell roadrunners, roadrunners for meat to anybody. I need to produce and have my own quartieri restaurant. Restaurants all over the country. Just focusing on this organic food. So you want to breed? then supply your restaurant for the finished product. Yes, I, I, I want, if resources permit, I, I don't need to, um, I don't need to be selling chicks to anyone. Let's hitch and keep them for ourselves. Let's let them grow, let, let's let them free range and slaughter them for our restaurants. It's a dream that I'm seeing, with the, it's, achievable with proper planning i know i can do it and i'm sure i've never i've never dreamt of anything like a fail mama dreams i'm worried small while i know the, if i start thinking of something it's achievable i know i will arrive at that and that's where i'm going right now i'm going to go to my gardens receive the new farm i have water and look at garden is really serious so i can supply myself with everything that i would need from the raw material side so i, I won't need to be knocking at people so can you supply us with tomatoes i have them myself can you supply us with this i have them myself so that's what i see myself going coming 2022 if there's a year that i'm going to be working like a donkey it's next year God on my side, next year I'm going to be more. That's my ultimate 2022 dream. 
if I don't achieve the first quarter, I would try second quarter. If I don't fail the second quarter, I'll go third quarter. I know in 2022, I'll achieve that. Even if I start with one, I want one, in fact. So in 2022, we're going to be having this interview at Quateri Restaurant. This is going to be a restaurant. Mm -hmm. I wanted to launch Quateri next year, but I decided, okay, let's, let me just start it now. Because people associate the, the, the name Terry with Huku. So the Prince Magavelli, yes, it's the Prince Magavelli farm is registered as a company. It has Quateri in it. So people should know Quateri with the chickens. What's the secret behind Prince Macafield? I'm a student of politics. Straight. That's where it came from. I, I, people started calling me Macafield College. So I, I decided to say, okay, let me just call myself. Let me combine Macafield and the title of the book. So to become the Prince Macafield. It's one of the books that I liked so much when I was doing political science. It's, mm -hmm. it's an interesting book. So that's where it all came from. Is there anything that you would want to say to, to the people of Zimbabwe, to those people who have been backing you, those who have been watching your progress, and those who would probably just want to know? So I'd ask you to look to them and just from your heart speak to them. Um, I've loved what uh, people have been doing. To be honest, like talkers like Ashtika Alonzi, Fambati, I've loved that. To be honest, it gives you an extra cushion. That feeling would okay, people at least they're being proud of what I'm doing. But at the same time, it gives you pressure uh, to reach my mind. It's a good no one also doing that by Coco. Yeah. So, it's not easy moving with Fambati. Yes. Little farmer, and uh, like always, in it, I motivate myself. So, to somebody out there, the first thing that I would say is be the motivator of yourself, be your own role model, right? Because it's you who knows the dream and the vision that you have. So by motivating yourself, um, you will know the limits, what to do and what not to do. And if you put your maximum effort on anything that you think this can pay, this is not a crime. If you put your maximum effort on it, that thing will definitely pay us. So right now I'm just grateful to people who have supported me, who have supported me financially, who have supported me by retweeting or by posting or sharing my tweets or my Facebook post or my Instagram post or my LinkedIn post. Those people, you are wonderful. I'm grateful to everything that you've done for what year. I'm mm. here because people have supported me and I wish to support more people. I've given her 111 people free kicks. I just pray that maybe more than half of them are doing quite well. I've been getting a few reports, but I just hope they're doing well. Mm. And uh, I wish to empower more youths in my village, in the country, and um, hoping that a youth can help another youth because we all understand each other's problems. So I'm not stopping. Uh, I'm moving forward. Uh, I'm not perfect. I'm not a perfect human being. I have my errors. I have my flaws. I have so many problems that I face. But because there are people out there who look up to Terry as someone who has started something good and they are trying to copy that model, I don't post negativity. I don't engage in negativity or negative energy or destructive criticisms. I don't. There are people who love the journey. Even if it's one person who is following the journey, let me do good for that person because that person needs to succeed. That person will do good with the next person. In 100 years to come, our communities or our societies will be filled with people with progressive minds. So I don't engage in negativity in um, anything that pulls someone down. I always try to engage in um, constructive criticism only. If you have your views that are constructive or that are meant to correct the wrongs, I'm going to tell you, 
come with them, let's move. As for helping my community, right now I, I want to set up a school in the village. I just hope and pray that I'll be successful in doing that. I got the clearance and everything. I just pray that I'll be successful. It's something that I want to do. I want to do it before December, but the finances are not permitting because I'm just a team, a small team who is trying to expand, who is trying to also look presentable and all that. So, God permitting, next year I'll set up the school. Maybe I'll start with a block for preschool, then expand to grade one to grade three, then up to grade seven. I will do that in this life. I think next year I have to succeed in setting up quarter and also the school. My year will be a very successful year if I achieve those two. This year I had four dreams and I'm grateful to God. I managed to achieve those dreams in the first, um, first six months of this year. So like I said, I celebrate small, small achievements. Kwandiri is a dream because I had nothing to show. I didn't have shoes. So when I buy shoes, for me, it's an achievement. But of course, I'm talking of bigger goals and bigger dreams. I had four of them and I achieved them and I'm grateful. I'm grateful to everybody who has supported me, to God and to anyone who is going to come into my life with positive minds and positive energy. Mm. So there's this one one woman that you are always passionate about and talk about, my Terry. Mm -hmm. What are you doing for her? What have you done for her for bringing such a young man up? Um, my project is safe when when I'm not around because he's available. So, um, I don't remember the last time the Andaka Mbone I think it was when I was in high school. When I started having this mind, you know, Funga is very big, mature, we always get along really smooth. She's my friend. We vibe like, like cool buddies. We don't have a problem. So, my project, when I started, she was the one on the ground in Nichirukubasa. So, I owe everything to her because at a critical stage of my project, she was the one who was standing with it. And up to now, and in a problem, even when I'm not available. My guys, I'm going to have my mistakes. My mom will move around in the forest and see, okay, up, up. We don't need to go to the phone. We don't need to go to Now she knows even when I'm not available, my guys can just take my note and I'm showing her. She is the pilot of the project. So, so this uh, year I can't buy a present mm -hmm. because she deserves a trophy every single day. So um, I've tried my best to make sure she stays happy. But uh, maybe the only I, I'm sure I'm, not, I'm not, not I'm sure she has never been into a hotel. I think I have to do that this year. She has to go and maybe have a weekend in a good hotel mm -hmm. before the year ends. Won't worry, relax and maybe move away from. Um, I think my mom has not moved from this yard the past three years. I'm not talking of this village, I'm talking of this particular yard. She has never moved even out of the gate. She's always up. So she's always here. So I need to give her roses while she's alive because she is my friend. I grew up without a father, she, she is my father. She has been with me through thin and thick. But now we are thinking in the same line. She wishes me good luck, she prays for me, she does all things good for me. So, and even up to now, dumb cards, she washes clothes for me. So, Vitorika, Mama's boy. Well, no, thank you very much, Terry, for sharing your life story with us. Um, I have a very good friend at Cresta Hospitality, Maiwa. I, I, hope, I hope she will listen to this. 
and will also be part of you making your mother happy because she she's one hopeless romantic that I know um, that Cresta can actually gift her um, you know few days out of this yard for a very long time yeah, yeah <laughs> she I'm sure she misses even seeing your mom your yeah. mom stays 200 meters away from me but your mom comes here to see her because she is always glued at the project she can't move away because she thinks maybe my guys will do something else so um, I can't be more grateful than just making sure she's happy every day because she's all I have. No, thank you very much, Terry. Now, like this small, teeny weeny maize seedlings that are just germinating in Kwateri's farm, so are the dreams of many Zimbabweans. So are the dreams that we all have as young people growing up to try and make an impact in our own lives. This is an inspirational story of a young Zimbabwean after going through university, after going through a difficult childhood in the rural areas, has risen to show the world, to show this country that if you believe in yourself, if you have dreams and you work to make those dreams alive, they will live. A phenomenal story of a phenomenal young Zimbabwean who, like he said, is about positivity. Here in the rural areas of Mondoro, Village 6, who shared his story here on Free Talk with me, Dara Blessed Mtlanga, in proud partnership with the Frederick Newman Foundation on Heart and Soul TV and Radio. We hope that this story awakens something in you. We hope that this story changes your viewpoint in life and that you can achieve bigger and better dreams. Thank you very much, Terry, for joining us. And we wish you and your brand the best, the Prince Machiavelli. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much, my brother. Join us next time on Free Talk, here on Heart and Soul TV and Radio. Next time we could be at your farm, your hotel or your restaurant. This was the Free Talk proudly brought to you in proud partnership with the Frederick Newman Foundation and Heart and Soul TV and Radio. We believe that dialogue is the crux of development. When people talk to each other, when people listen to each other, development happens. On Free Talk, we believe in political dialogue, economic dialogue, and social dialogue. Everybody must be heard. Everybody has a right to be heard. Free talk. Talking that moves nation. Free talk. Talking that makes a difference. This is the free talk.